knowledge of parents and submit to them more than your natural parents. My God, because they watch them, they have to, they have to answer God and know they have. They have to report to God, my God. The scriptures say they have power, my God, to release causes of blessing to your life. Some of you are not doing well, my God, because you won't submit no respect, no matter what, my God. So he said, you can't just appreciate that, my God, I want something for the entire month, and the rest of the year, you disrespect them. If this is what I hold somebody, see when God said that to me, I can give hearing to the Spirit. Somebody say, well, how do I disrespect them? And this is what the Lord said. You talk about them. You join others to destroy them. You get in clicks, see, God. To tell is their reputation, my God. Stuff that happened in church. You cannot share spiritual stuff, my God, with sinners. Amen. The spiritual zone. You can't talk about what's happening in church with your unsaved spouse, unsaved children, unsaved brothers and sisters, unsaved neighbor and co-workers. These things are spiritual zone. You cannot discuss, my God. So you go home, my God, you have to correct somebody. You didn't like the way he was doing it, but you don't have all the story and the depth of it. He was too rough. For that last year. But you don't know he talked to the brother or the sister, my God. Three other times about the same situation. So he had to be rough at this time to make him understand this foolishness ain't going to stand. You didn't like it. You didn't have to tell him the Bible talk about public rebuke. Uh -huh. Some stuff you have to rebuke, you have to do publicly. He should have called him the same, but he did it in front of everybody. And the truth, the truth is, should you, you can't rebuke your leader. Stand, mother, mother stand up. This is my mother. Everyone else going, oh my God, not everything she did I, I liked. And I wish sometime, my God, I could have do something to her. I, I don't have any love. <laughs> so, that's my mother. Come on, give her a good hand. Her mother was a single parent, six of us. The parents six of us were with five different men, which you are pregnant with. We have thrown the school, my grandfather put her out. We were the bastard kids in the community. And she had to think, she had to fight for us, amen, to get us, my God, to make something of ourselves. But when I was younger, my God, and she did something I didn't like, I couldn't say, I need a fire rebuke you. But I couldn't do that. You go long in the hole. I would get some boop, boop, boop. That's right. <laughs> If I wanted to, if she did something I didn't like, I had to go to my grandmother or my or my aunts or my uncle and tell them, I didn't talk to my sister, this is what she's doing. <laughs> I couldn't rebuke my parent. How come church people didn't rebuke their spiritual parent? Oh, oh, oh. Where you all of the children? Come on. Come on now. You can't rebuke your natural parent. Mother, you're you can't rebuke them. How come you try to rebuke your spiritual parents? When you're at a lesser level of level standard than they are. And anointing comes down, not goes, not goes up. You ever see a river going up a hill? Anointing comes down. So you might like, 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 I can't wait to call the shot to tell about. I can correct him, I can fix him. He's the head of the house, you can't fix him. You have to then contact his overseer. My God, that's my God about something, my God, that you can't be running through his voice with every little stupidness, my God, just because you want to have your way. Come on with Rebellious it. and disobedient, nobody can't say nothing to you. I just wish somebody would say something. I'll set it up. I just wish you would. Amen. <laughs> he said, how do you respect him, my God? You slander his name. You tell lies. The pastor said it's the pastor. The pastor had no conversation with you. I rebuke all the alliance of your alliance spirits in the name of Jesus. He said this, he wasn't near, you had no conversation with you. You slandering his name. Ramaka. Cause you to have a, a bad light on your job in the community. Mm. Two church people, my God, in the aisle of the supermarket talk about the pastor. Not understand that on either side there's sinners listening. Who was considering giving a hot lot of considering coming to church. But if he's so bad, or these pastors so bad, why would I give my heart to this God that this pastor say he's sovereign and he's so bad? Wow. God, this is what else God said. He said, you don't pay your tithes. <laughs> See, he said, how you disrespect him, you don't pay your tithes. Thieves in the house of God. So you know the principle of tithing and giving, my God, these things have been taught. But you don't pay your tithes, my God. That's how you disrespect him. Because he teaches and preaches the word of God, and you do not submit to the word of God. You disrespect him, that means you're saying, I don't believe nothing you're saying. And moreover, so I don't believe your God. 
I don't believe the word of God. Thieves in the house of God. After he's teaching the principle over and over. So because you don't pay your tithes, my God, the house can expand and grow and the global vision can be accomplished. I respect you, Pastor. I love you. I can travel with you going. But you're still a thief. Don't carry the thief with you, leave a boy. <laughs> if it wasn't here, tell him I say so. I can travel with you, Pastor. I need to now I have your ticket. But now you don't know, take it into go anywhere these days. We have to pay my God fifty dollars for bag. So the vision can be accomplished, but you said you respect Him. If you respected Him and the vision of what God called to do, you will be paying your tithes. You'll be giving free will offering, my God. You'll make sure, my God, that your pastor has the baddest car in St. Thomas because He is the man of God. Amen. I don't understand how church people get so. Can I tell you how the wall is wrong with the wall? The church. Oh. Nobody don't care, my God, that the government have the nicest car. The senators have the nicest car. My God, but let the pastors get a nice car. When you're sick, nobody don't call the governor. Need prayer, nobody don't call the governor. Yo, my God, you need to be buried, nobody don't call the governor. They don't even come to your funeral. My God, need the Christian, nobody don't call the governor. My God, headache, cancer, the back master. <laughs> nobody never call the governor. But they can have the nicest whatever, live in the nice, precious houses, and these will watch over your soul to help you get into heaven. You talk about them, Ramasia. Who wage war and fast and beat the devil off of you? You sometimes know y'all should have been dead, but my God, to pray in the world. Give you good counsel, my God, to make good decision, Ramasia. They should have the baddest car in the territory. Amen. They should live in the nicest place. Do y'all know the Bible? Like that the Christians had the nicest everything? Uh, My God, the Bible said he gave us the power to get well to establish his kingdom so that others will be jealous of how rich and blessed we are and want to come over here. But now we're poor and driving the hope team. My God. I'm trying to do for me that, my God, that God blessed me with money to, to really, if you really um, demonstrate and be an example of this kingdom. So, Saints in the house of God ought to make sure that the God is taken care of. Make sure that bills are paid. They shouldn't have lack. Make sure there's food on the table, my God. Again, again, like we talk about food. If you bring off your gate of tree and mango, tree and guava, tree and apple tree, can I tell if you give to them again, man, more? It'll be more, even more fruitful. If you bless them, my God, God will bless you back. You can't outgive God. And once you sow into their life, God will bless it. Anybody here wants to be a millionaire? Listen, I know I love Let me just shock y'all. Let me just help you all. Can I just help y'all for one minute? What's ever on the head come to the bed? Yes. Yes. So if your pastor is not a billionaire, it most likely will not happen to you. If you help him become a millionaire, bam, it can happen in your life. Because anointed flows. You will have every now and again a little two, one person, two person, three person, my God, in a big church. They might do something, my God, and they might break out or they want it to wealth or whatever. But the masses, the entire church will not move into millionaire status until the leader does. What's on the head? So if he has a lack, you will have lack. If you give him trouble, you have trouble in your life, believe that trouble manifests in yours. If you cause him help, hell back to you. Pastors are reflectors. Y'all ever see a mirror? Take a light into a mirror. The Bible said, he said it to Abraham, he said, I will bless those who bless you. And I will do what? Let me tell you what bless. A bless, when you talk somebody talk about blessing, the word blessing means empower to prosper. Somebody say empower to prosper. So my empower to prosper, being the hand of God comes on you. If you didn't finish a degree, but you get a good job. Amen. You drop out of school, my God, my God, but God gets you a good job. You got pregnant out of wedlock, but God caused you to find a good man or still caused you to finish school and he elevated you. You came from a family that nobody never made nothing themselves, but you made something of yourself because the hand of God came on you and empowered you too. A cost means empowered to fail. Y'all didn't hear me? 
which means the hand of God is against you. He is not for you. Of course, the hand of God is against you. Rabbi. Now, of course, it's come, my God. God can cause you. The devil can cause you. Stuff you did. Stuff generation, family did, my God. My God. But of course, literally means empowered to fail. You got the degree, but can't get a job. Got married in the mashup. Got the child, but it died. Stand a business, but it flopped. The hand of God is against you. So God said, I will bless those who, I will empower to prosper those who bless you. And I will empower to fail those who cause a come against you. So all y'all who come against the past and y'all, nothing will not for you. You need to repent. Who talked about them, my God, behind their back? You never said them to their face. You talked about them behind their back, but in the past, you know, I love you as a lion wonder. Of course, it's in your life. You need to go ahead and repent right now. Don't wait for the call. Go ahead and make it right quick. I soon finish in. What is the music? I'm the music being up my shut up. <laughs> Just check. Oh, and by the way, my name is uh, uh, Pastor Color P5. I'm possibly pastor over his live streaming. I know you're expecting a pastor here today, but my name is Apostle Color P5 from Transmission Church International Tatola. Guest speaker today. Hey, all y'all are there in the world. <laughs> hey, all y'all local people. Praise the Lord. He said you don't give your support. He said you don't give your support to projects. But you see, he said, that's how you disrespect him. He said, God said we should do this, but you don't give your support to projects. Is he a man of God? Is he a man of God? Yeah. Y'all love him? Yeah. How come y'all don't support the projects? He said, we want to go out, we to do this. My God has to beg and beg and clean and clean and then use his own money, the little that he gets, to do the same project. Then, uh, then he has to show up and do all of the work. Because another way you don't disrespect him, you don't show up. Call prayer meeting, you stay home, my God. A fast day, you stay home, Rabasia. Don't show up to events. Don't support the vision, but you love him. That's how you disrespect him, God said. That's why God said, why celebrate him, my God, at the day of the whole month, and for the rest of the year, you disrespect him. With a change of mindset and attitude. You don't pray for him. God said you don't fast for him, Rabasia. And yes, he said you prostitute his gift. You run to him, my God, every time you have a problem or storm in your life. And as soon as everything goes, you all know those church people. Some of y'all are those church people. Who when everything, my God, ain't going well, you see them all in pastor phase. Pastor got to come to them. Pastor got to pray for them, my God. Two weeks, three weeks, maybe six weeks. Three. As soon as everything goes well, you don't see them no more. I know that I've known y'all because y'all have good sex. I'll talk about y'all neighbors. Say, neighbor, he talking about you. I don't, I don't with God, so I'm just talking about you. I will talk about you. I'll talk about your neighbor. <laughs> y'all know who they are prostituting his gift that he in the hall. Pick him out, my God, to pray for me. Pick him out, whatever. And my God, try to teach you to come up, my God. I, I was reading that you have that you have a Bible school, a Bible class, Bible institute, yeah. When you go come out and get spiritual instruction, my God, you home watching television or somewhere sleeping around or somewhere doing something stupid. And then you have to prostitute his gift and the woman of God give to pray for you. But you respect God, so you don't respect him and stop letting him prostitute your gift. I told some of them, I pray for y'all no more. I just tell y'all, this is stupidness. I told him, my God, I'm not, I mash up that relationship that you were in last week. My God, I prayed, I fasted, my God. You got yourself in prison. I prayed you out. I fasted, I prayed, I stay slim. Help me, Holy Ghost. <laughs> fasted and pray for church people. I'll give you like that. Run, run this one situation, my God. I, you know, God, God, God revealed to me this young yeah, man was going through something. So I call him, I tell this why I see your flesh is gonna get you in trouble. My God, I need to sit down and listen. My God, God, you broke your foot. That's why he said if you don't stop. So he would listen, guess what happened? Broke your foot. Did God broke your foot? Them right there. We, I taught him this principle. This was something God shared with me. God said, you ever see, you ever see those pictures where you see a shepherd with a bunch of lamb around his foot and one around his neck? Yeah. What this day and that this is what how God gave me a revelation about it. He said, when you have a sheep that keep running away, jumping over the fence, they got to do this, then they come back, they got to have to go look for it. You got to go look for it over there, you got to go look for it over there. The sheep 
You know what, what you know what the blue house shepherd does? He takes the head. sheep one day when he catches it and he broke his foot. And he chose the Some of y'all feel that he broke that. He broke the sheep. You know, you know why? Because he loves it. Right. Because a wild beast could eat it, a dog could eat it. You my God, when he tied him, he could kill it and eat it himself. Or somebody on the street could eat it, but he loves it enough, so he broke his foot. And to stop it from keep jumping and straying. How you straight? My God, he will stop hoarding that man this week, another one the other week, a woman this week, my God. You want to? <laughs> <laughs> you should have been there. Ah, look what you <laughs> drunk. The rabbi, shut your mouth, girl. You it. Drunk, but I like him, but not in the spirit. Hey. So, what he has to be, he has to broke the sheep. And guess what? When the sheep is over his shoulder, his head, my God, is going to hang up by his heart. That's right. So, he's going to hear the master's heartbeat. Hey. And you're gonna hear the master's soft voice. Yes. And you're gonna realize that the master could have let the wild beast eat me. My God, let a lion, a tiger, a bear, or a dog eat me. Let somebody else kill me, my God. I could have stabbed to death when I got caught in a ticket somewhere. My God, or he himself could have get tired and kill me. But he loved me enough to break my feet to let me. Why, my God, the master at the time, my God, had to bandit it, had to put splints on the chair, the, the foot, and bandit it and rub it up, my God. And by the time, after several weeks and months, his leg is well, and the master put it down. It learned to stay. Guess what? It never wanted to leave. Amen. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Amen. He make me to light in green pastures. Yes, amen. He lead me beside the still. Guess what? The sh Every guess what? When the master trying to walk, no, the sheep is right at his foot. I can't it. Trip him I up. Can't it. don't want to leave his presence. Hey. Guess what? There's people who been through storms in church, my God. We see them chasing after God, not radical. They've been through some stuff, my God. And he had to break their feet. How you broke your feet, you lost your job. How you broke your feet, my God. Your child who you're worshiping more than him got in trouble, my God. How you broke your foot, my God. My God, your car mash up, my God. Something had become an idol in your life. Are you removed as a protection and expose something you were doing? Oh, my God, you got sick in some way. He had to broke your foot. So anyway, I said, you know what? I told him, I said, the next day, I said, man, get in prison. So he got in prison, because he wouldn't listen. My God, I saw him, God, I showed you, and I listened to relationships. I spoke to him, who would know better. I said, I see how I get pregnant. I talked to the young lady, talked to him. Oh, we ain't doing nothing. Um, I said, OK, I can see if, the, I can see if we can have another virgin Mary. <laughs> so guess what? I tell I still to this stuff. I was too Christian, my God, going to different churches. Sat them down, they couldn't do nothing in the house of God. And I was here. So guess what? One day the young lady called me and tell me she's pregnant. I said, I thought I wasn't doing nothing. My God, you must be the other virgin Mary. <laughs> I said, well, we call my phone if I talk to you all. A couple of weeks after she called Teddy. A pussy need to tell stay away from me. Come on, man. I said, I said, listen to this chick. I said, check Pete, this, watch this. You see this number here, don't call it no more. Forget this number, delete it out your phone. Because I try to talk to you, I try to talk Call the police, don't call my phone no more, woman. No, we prostitute the gift to be no more. Faster pray if I to get yourself together, not listening. I ain't no more. Come on. I know a lot of us are here, but I want to to Jesus, God. Look at this one, one man God told me man ago. He said, man, God, you wrote the book in. Those who love it didn't even buy it. He wrote a book, your pastor wrote a book, and you do not have a copy. But you say you love and respect it. Do not have a copy. You didn't buy a copy. You didn't buy a copy to give away. You didn't so do not support the ministry, but you love and respect it. You're a liar! Amen. Didn't encourage others to, to, to buy the book. He didn't even read it. Oh. But you say he's as your leader and you love and respect him, my God. I appreciate you. You do not. In addition, that God said, my God, he said you are a bunch of leaky vessels. You say you don't love him. 
He had leaky vessels. He preached every Sunday, my God. I'm not sure what this one is. You have a perfect me after church. He comes to church. He comes in here, preach every Sunday, my God. Everything he preaches comes out. Probably full of bitterness and not forgiveness. He's leaking out everything, my God. 20 years safe, still can't break. 20 years safe, still can't keep your flesh. My God. Can't stop lying. Can't stop sleeping around. Can't stop teeth. and still ain't paying your tithes. A leaky vessel. And then leaking out, my God. Look at you, my God. Church out. Nothing in you. Ooh, full of holes, dead man bones, bitterness, not forgiveness. You see a bunch of leaky vessels and the captain let them wear it. That's what he said. He said, You don't share the word of God. Well, if what is preached in here, good food is given, but you don't share the word of God. My God, you don't even tell your husband, your children, you go home and tell them all the bad stuff that happened in the house of God. You're disrespecting by not growing. Because everything leaking out, my God. What well, lot of it is to pray for yourself, fast for yourself. You're making them tired, God said. You just don't live right. And whenever you hear your name, you know what I'm saying? You don't even call your name. Walk so and so, my God. And people from Pastor here's the church. Slander his name, he wasn't even in the mess. You know, you should have got the Pastor here's the church, right? You see, she over there, they even call her name She. Who had the man who's my neighbor? And the woman here sneaking out of the deep. I don't see him out of the sea. He had to go to pass. He's a church. You know that church on the side of the road, up on the road from my God. Probably big time in that, that one. The one that come in from cost you. Let's like, I'm home before my girl turn right. That one. <laughs> you say you don't live right. That's how you disrespect him. You put his name in all kind of mess that she should not be in. Rabaka. Mm. My God. He said you're rebellious, you're contentious, and you're troublemakers. That's how you disrespect him. You cause trouble on your job. My God, and then the boss got to say, well, what, what, who your pastor is? I don't go my global life. I touch at no pastor here. So when have all of them like so, I come in. They must behave like you. Come to work late. Take two hour lunches. That's how you used to disrespect him. My God, because this car was hit with him. Why he teach you all up there? Give me five more minutes. Let me just shut up. Drunkards, whoremongers, liars, thieves. God said, this is your father, and you don't respect him. He said, you treat him as a common man. My God, Rabba Sota Rabaka. He said, you may not like him, but he's calm. He said, he's calm, he's chosen to do what he's doing. And you're just in case you all don't know. You all know this is, he came out of a living, he got priest on life. Father, pastor. Most of his siblings are pastors. His father had to do something good. That is what is it. 11 you all, 11 brothers and three sisters. A whole bunch of them. And most of them are pastors or married to pastor leader. His parents had to do something. He's, he's calm. Mama's done have a few. God said you're lazy. The ministry should be fought along after 15 years. But some of you have been like leeches. You've been sucking life out of their mind, God. You've taken and taken and taken and not given and given and given. God said, my God, free the man of God that he himself to go could grow. Amen. That he could study. That he could pray more. He could write some more book that you need to buy. Amen. Amen. Stop disturbing his life with mediocre problem that you should be dealing with. He said, deacons, elders, and ministers, you need to pull your weight. He said, you have not been pulling your weight. You've not been standing like you need to be standing, my God. You're not there to support like you should be given support. You've not been lifting up their hands. You've not been supporting financially like you should. Giving water to encourage you like you should. Praying and fasting like you should. Being there in the house like you should. Rabasia. And I don't mean I'm here. That is the first time I've been to this church, by the way. And me, Pastor here. So we, we cool. We get along, but we don't talk like so. We don't get together. We, we have a hang up. I have seen him. Guess what I see him? I see him last year at Pastor Jesus' conference. And this year, the conference in Tatum, my son. Oh, I see him down the road. I went up to somebody soon ago. I don't see him, we don't talk. We have a conversation. God was praying and praying and praying for what, what to say, what to say. He said he can't feel your support. You shrunk him back. You're not visible. And again, the last thing I should already. He said, make sure he's well paid and he should have the nicest part you really love and respect your man of God. That is what the Lord should. Amen.
He said, oh, oh yes, my God. And the last thing he said, because he's young, he's younger than some of you all. He could be some of you all children. They can't even get to all of that path and take it. They didn't get to that path because of time. We disrespect him. We refuse to submit to him. In my closing statement, that if you can't submit to him, you need to move and leave the church and stop causing confusion. Okay, don't be a bastard in the house. Go and find your parent. And Jesus says, my mother. Amen. Somebody give God a show. Oh, yeah. Somebody show hallelujah for me. That's what the Lord should I trust that you all are blessed. You guys who here would know whether that's what I said was true or not, but that's what he told me. Amen. Amen. Yes, God. Amen. Offering time. You excited? Yes. It's offering time. Hallelujah. We bless you, Father God, for sharing, for pouring out to us, Father God. We thank you for your gifting. And that God will continue to bless you in your endeavors. It's a token of our appreciation for you. And we thank you. We thank you all for that, that came to experience the presence of God. Now, we'd like everyone to stand. And we're going to come down. And we're going to give joyfully. Amen? If you don't have a seed to put in the basket, someone give them. Someone else, something else to give, and everyone come down and give. Amen. Hey. If you're writing a check, make it out to Global Life Church Ministries. If you need help to how to spell thousands and millions, I can help you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You can bring the basket down. As we give, let us worship in our giving. We're honoring God. We're honoring our man of God, a woman of God. Come on down. Yeah, to what 
Church Escalation by Apostle Howard Hatchett. Okay. You practice on Friday at 6.30. Teleconference on Saturday with Sister Marie Show on the prayer line. Women in Ministry at St. Thomas of Assembly of God invite you to their Women Conference November 9th to Wednesday, November 12th. Registration fee is $20 for all this session on Tuesday, 9.30. See the ushers in the back for registration if you would like to attend. Also, Christian Unity Church, Women on the Move for Christ, I invite you to their worship conference today, no, this afternoon, no at 3 30. Amen. Let us stand. I'm going to call back the Apostle Boy, and he's going to call those who like prayer. Okay, forgive me, um, conference schedule, they had an invitation on the call after, so I thought that somebody was going to do that, so I didn't want to go for the call in the house. But we never want to leave the house of God without offering an opportunity for salvation. If you're here today, my God, and something that was said, we encourage you, or you're not have yet accepted the Lord, we want to give you an opportunity to do so. If you're here, my God, you want hand laid and you want to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, we want to be here to minister to you. We came up the church to hear the word of God, and after the word of God, there must be demonstration. My God, we want to just encourage you, my God, if you're here, you're not feeling well in your body. My God, we want to lay hands on you. God still healed, delivers, and set free. If I had time, I would tell you the amount of miracles and healing of cancers, the amount of things we have experienced in our local church. So if you're here today, my God, we're not going to stay all day. I understand I have stuff to do after. But we never want to leave without giving an opportunity for you to give your heart to God. Amen. So close your let's all bow our heads and close our eyes. And those who need to move at the love and you to come out, my God, come on. We just want to bless you and magnify.